Hi, yeah, I got a question about tenant turnover. Can you explain what it is exactly, how to minimize it, and then how much it typically costs? Thanks. Julie, thank you for asking one of the most important questions, one of the biggest expenses in all of real estate investing, and that is tenant turnover. So first of all, what is tenant turnover? Tenant turnover simply means a tenant is leaving and we need to turn over the property in order to place a new tenant. Think of it like gardening, right? When you've got soil in the garden and uh, the, season is, the season is done or the season is just beginning and the soil has been sitting there in this particular spot for a couple of years or a number of months and you haven't touched it. You want to go out and turn over the soil, right? Get it ready. Get it ready for the next season, the next planting, so to speak. Uh, and that's really what a tenant turnover is in a rental property. Um, you're cleaning up the property. So let's say you have a tenant in the property that's been there for three years, four years, five years, and they are moving um, for any number of reasons, right? Their children have graduated from the particular school district and, uh, you know, the, 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 the mom in the property uh, wants to now move closer to her mom. You know, any number of reasons, job change, etc. It always, it can happen. You will, if you are a rental property investor, experience a tenant turnover. This is part of the process. Um, and the goal is to try to mitigate the tenant turnovers, try to lessen the impact of those tenant turnovers. Um, and you can do that a number of different ways. Number one, you can invest in markets that are uh, where you have tenants that want to stay for a long time. That's number one, right? So where we build our rental properties at Morris Invest, our new construction properties for our clients are in the best rental markets in the country where we have the most you know, uh, most demand for, or most job growth. So jobs are coming to that area where there's low crime. We also build now exclusively in the best school districts. So it was a decision we made a number of years ago. You know, why, how can we keep tenants in our properties for as long as possible? Well, guess what? If you build in the best school districts, parents will want to have their children in those school districts and they will want to stay in the same school district for, to, to complete the graduation process, right? So they're going to stay for many, many years. So that's, a, that's one way of doing it. You also want to be in an area where there's uh, jobs available, where there's low crime, um, where there's access to shopping and all of those things and, 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 and a diversity of businesses. Therefore, you get a higher quality tenant. Tenants, typically, you can charge more for rent, and tenants are going to stay a long time. Another thing that you can do is one, uh, one of the reasons that I like single-family properties and larger duplexes. When I say larger duplexes, I mean like a side-by-side -side duplex. If you go to our website, you can see one of our duplexes under construction right on the front page of morrisinvest.com. And on that, we explain, we, I show you, like the, the front entrance is on, you know, uh, opposite sides. So that duplex is, yes, it's connected, but it's very, very large. I mean, like vaulted ceilings, and it feels like a single family home with a yard, its own driveway, their own entrance. And so tenants in those larger properties nest and they tend to stay a long time. So that's why I like single family homes. Single family homes, you make it your own. Tenants make it their own. In many ways, it becomes their own home and they stay for five, six, seven years and longer. They've got a backyard, they've got their own driveway, they've got a garage. It's, you know, it's not like one of those hundred unit apartment complexes where you've got one bedroom or two bedrooms and there's so much turnover, you know, tenant turnover happens very, uh, very, very often in those larger multi-family uh, multi unit apartment complexes. Tenant turnover is constantly happening. Like who do you know that moves into one of those buildings and wants to stay there for 30 years? No, <laughs> they're there for a year if you're lucky and they're moving, right? It's a transient type of a tenant. So that's why I love our larger duplexes and single families because ten tenants turn it into their own home and they tend to stay a long time. Again, tenant turnover can, can be costly, you know? Let's be honest, depending on the type of tenant. That's why another reason why you wanna have great tenants in your property and having a great property management team that will make sure that your tenants have a great track record. You know, they don't have a history of damaging a property. They don't have vacants, uh, they don't have uh, evictions on their record. So you're getting a good crop of tenant in the property who's going to take care of the property. This is also important because when a tenant moves out, um, you know, like my wife, she had, a, she had a really expensive condominium in San Francisco and the two tenants that she had in the property, like a, a, I guess they were boyfriend, girlfriend, 
they worked in like the financial district or one of them worked at a hospital even. And it was bizarre. And, and they, they, they had a dog that, and they lied about it. They just, they were horrible tenants. She screened them herself. She didn't even have a property management team. She didn't do a background check, all of that stuff. You know, it was all of the rookie mistakes, right? That she was doing it herself. Uh, and they trashed the apartment. I mean, they put holes in the wall, the dog ripped the, you know, like peed on all the hardwood and it just like, it was awful. I mean, it was like, how do two people like want to live like that? But hey, you'll, that'll happen from time to time and not to scare you, but you want to mitigate that by not having those types of tenants. That's why you have a great property management team, making sure that they don't have this kind of history in their, in, you know, uh, in their past. Um, and then, you know, paint, carpet, touch up, those types of things can run anywhere from a few hundred dollars to, you know, a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, two thousand dollars. Like we just did a tenant turnover on one of our properties um, and it was a single family home. The tenant had been there for many, many years and uh, it was like twenty seven hundred dollars to put in new carpet, to touch up the paint. We updated some of the cabinets as well. Um, and not because it was their damage, but because it was time to do those upgrades. Um, so again, it can be a little costly. And that's why you want to be in markets where you don't have to do tenant turnovers every year. You know, like I know people that do like the Airbnb thing and like good for them, but you're doing a tenant turnover essentially every other day. <laughs> you know, I don't want that. I want to have a tenant turnover every five years, every three years, every four years, you know, something like that. Uh, so that's a tenant turnover. That's how you mitigate those tenant turnovers. Uh, try to stay away from the smaller rental properties, the smaller units, the larger multifamily, 100 unit multifamily ones that you're going to constantly have tenant turnovers. So I'm a much bigger fan of the single family and duplex model. That's what we do at Morris Invest. All right. Thanks to uh, Julie for that question. Thanks to all of you for uh, listening. You can leave us a voicemail question by going to morrisinvest.com slash Clayton to drop us a, a question about real estate or financing, anything that's on your mind, and we will answer it here on the show. Now go out there, everyone. Take action. Become a real estate investor. I believe it's the number one way to build wealth. We'll see you next time, everyone.